What's going on guys? Joe with OMGRC here. So I asked you guys last night, should I get Traxxas or Arma? You guys were pretty much on the Arma bandwagon there when it came to it. So I was like, all right. And I was pretty excited. I was like, oh man, I can't sleep. I want to, I want to check these things out. So that's what I did is I went around to a few shops and to see if they had any available. So I guys, you know, show them off to you. So got the Arma Creighton. This is their BLX, the 6S. So this thing's pretty awesome looking. Now, this one's the red and black. I, I, I didn't even know. I thought it was maybe the blue and the black. And I was like, it's the only one they had. And they just got it off the truck. And I was like, um, is that for sale? Did anybody else take that? He's like, no, no, it's for sale. I was like, all right, so let me go ahead and grab that from you. <laughs> so that's what I did. And here it is now. Haven't even unboxed it. Haven't broken the seal. Haven't done anything with it. Usually I already do that. So in this case here, let's get into this thing, see what it's all about. All right, guys, so let's talk about the radio real quick here. Not a, I don't really care for it. It feels weird in the hand a little bit, but it does have all the little settings that are on here. Not bad as far as the trim settings, what have you, steering. Pretty basic, but uh, it gets the job done. I don't, the wheels definitely, uh, you know, this is a more expensive vehicle. We're talking over 500 bucks for this thing. And I kind of expect that not to be all plastic. It does feel cheesy, so I'm not a big fan of that one. I don't know how good the tactical was, but I did think people did kind of like the tactical a little bit. Anyway, as far as when it comes to the tools, well, they didn't cheap on the tools a little bit. This is a nice little T-style wrench that's in there. I actually give you a smaller one that's in there. Got your speed gear that sits in there. Uh, looks like uh, some other body posts that are in here as well. Other stuff as far as tuning your uh, shocks as well. So not bad at all. I haven't even looked at that. Also, just kind of want to let you guys know, if you are picking up one of these vehicles, you want to make sure you get some nice premium batteries. Uh, 35C is a minimum discharge of 5,000 milliamp. So just to kind of heads up on that part of it. So anyway, I already got some, I already got batteries, so it'll be good to go on that part. Now on to the truck itself. Whew. All right. Um, I definitely like the hood pins as far as the clips, how they held that all in there. So hopefully you don't lose them <laughs> when you're jumping or whatever else like that. Not much of a bumper, but uh, we'll see how that works. Anyway, man, this thing looks awesome. I love the, the paint, you know, as far as what they've done to it here. It has like a metallic that's in there as well. You see a little sparkle on it. So very cool on that part of it. So I definitely appreciate you guys, you know, chiming in and saying, hey, yeah, you know, you need to get Arma. It's where it's at. And uh, it's definitely where it's at. So I can see it. There's some adjustment that needs to be done on this vehicle, just like most any other vehicle. Anyhow, the tires are way off as far as that one. I'll show you that one when I put it on its side. But nonetheless, this thing looks good. It's got a lot of little detail to it. And that part of it, I love the don't just bash blast part of it. Very cool. Got a little vent here, which is nice because I'm sure when this thing's flying, this thing needs to get rid of some of that so it doesn't parachute so much. It's got a little vent in the back. That's cool. A little air out. All right, so the truck itself, man. Um, these shocks, the shocks, all aluminum. It's got the nice little rubber boot that's on there as well to kind of keep the shock shaft from getting all nasty and grimy. So since it's got oil on there, so that's nice on that part of it. I know they've been doing that for a while. These uh, upper and lower, you know, as far as control arms here or what have you, um, these are nice on there. They feel pretty good. So they feel pretty thick. I mean, honestly, I'm, we know that Arma is doing big things now when it comes to, I mean, as far as its durability, it's definitely nice that pillow ball suspension that's on there. I believe those are going to be the uh, CVDs that are on there. So nice on that part of it. So you can see this thing's got some nice turning radius too. It's like, wow, this thing can, <laughs> man, look at that thing. That thing's got the wheels jacked pretty far. Uh, suspension on it too. It's got, it now it's, this sway bar is a little bit weird how it, it moves around. I figured that thing would be kind of like not being able to move side to side, but it is what it is on that part of it. Also, as far as just kind of dropping this thing on the ground, definitely a suspension that I didn't capture all that, but it's nice. Uh, Velcro straps that are on here too. They didn't skimp on that at all. So definitely nice on that. What is that? My GoPro. Anyway, uh, that's that on that. These connections that are here, these are like, 10 gauge or something or 12 gauge something like that uh, anyway it's nice because they give it to you where you can do either if you're going to run a you know two 2s lipos 
not two S light bows, sorry. If you're running two, three S light bows, then you, you just take that little loop that's out of there. But if you're running like a six S or you're running a four S through it or, or even a five S, I don't know, something like that, you can always, uh, you know, keep this in and then just hook it up to that one connection that's on there as well. Uh, you guys can let me know in regards to what that thing is. It's, I don't know if that holds something down exactly why that's what that DLE is on it, but it's there. That'd be something like, oh, that makes sense why it's there. That almost looks like where your battery connections or something like that would go in there. I don't know if that's something for this little connector here or what. Anyway, I don't want to get stuck up on that one. <laughs> so also that red bar, that's a support bar. That thing is crazy. I don't, you guys can let me know on that one. Is that something new that they started doing just to kind of reinforce that so that you don't get so much flex in the chassis now? Because man, if that's the case, they definitely, <laughs> That thing's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome, and it just stands out quite a bit. It's pretty good. Not bad at all. All right, so let's get over to the other side here with our 2050 KV motor. Looking good. Nice little organization there for the most part. Also, when it comes to electronic speed controller, 150 amp, nice on that part of it. The little on and off switch that's here. Nice, it's even screwed down so it's not like this you know, well, normally it would be a double stick tape or something like that. So that's nice on that one. 15 kilogram servo that's in here as well. Doesn't feel too bad. Might be, I don't know. It might, it might be, it might be able to do the job pretty well. I don't know 100% on that one. Servo saver that's sitting in there as well. Kind of hard to see. Anyway, looks like you can definitely, looks like it's spring loaded that's in there. I don't know how hard it is to tune that. But anyway, I normally don't even touch them uh, for the most part. So, that being said, let's go ahead and show you that. You can see here, with that thing's laying flat, eh, it's definitely off a little bit when it comes to its alignment. But not a big deal, I can adjust that. Speaking of that, you have your tie rods that are there as well. So they're not super thick, but uh, if they're a good metal or steel, then they'll do the job for sure. So the upper ones, Definitely beefy on that part of it. They didn't slouch on any of that kind of stuff. Anyhow, I think this stuff's nice. And uh, yeah, so that's that. Appreciate you guys watching, man. This thing is awesome. So we'll get some running videos of this thing here shortly. But definitely beefy and awesome. So I definitely appreciate the recommendation on the Arma. And all you guys that left the feedbacks. So anyway, if you guys are new here, definitely consider subscribing. Also, you can check out omgrc.com. Now, unfortunately, we don't carry Arma, so if Arma, you're listening, wouldn't mind carrying your products. They look really nice. So I definitely, definitely digging it. But, and I know it's all through Horizon, since Horizon's got the branding that's on there now, since they've taken that over. Looks like they're doing pretty awesome things, other than the radio. Don't care for the radio too much, but you know what? There's always someone that's gonna have complaints about something, and I'm just, you know, just throwing my two cents out there as well. Anyway. But this thing's awesome, so I definitely appreciate it. You guys watching. And we'll get a running video of this thing here shortly, that's for sure. So until next time, it's Joe with OMGRC. You guys take care and thank you for watching.